Hello, I'm Lugog TV, and this video is a follow-up guide to my complete Elite Clue Scroll Guide, which can be found here. This video will delve deeper into the Celtic Knot puzzles, where I'll teach you how to do them efficiently. Let's go. Celtic Knot puzzles are one of two puzzles encountered while completing Elite Clue Scrolls. The other puzzle is a slider puzzle. The objective for Celtic Knots is to make every overlapping rune the same rune among the three colored strips. Celtic Knots come in a variety of different layouts, and the layout you get each puzzle is completely random. As for method, the way I complete Celtic Knots is as follows. Step 1, I pick a colored strip to solve. I usually pick the outermost strip, or the one that is easiest to focus on, as there is a lot going on. We'll call this strip, Strip A. Secondly, I pick a second strip to help me solve for the first. I usually pick the strip besides the one that I chose to solve. We will call this strip, Strip B. The leftover strip we'll call Strip C. But forget about Strip C. Nobody cares about Strip C because he isn't useful until the end. Then he waltzes in like, Hey guys, I see you did all the work and whatnot, but I want to get credit too. That is not fair. Strip C showed zero effort or teamwork. He does not get any of the praise. I hate Strip C! <clears throat> Sorry about that. Continuing on. Notice the two or four points, depending on the layout, where strips A and B cross, and notice specifically where strip A overlaps strip B. On this spot, the rune on A covers the rune on B. This spot is crucial to solving the puzzle. Step 4. Notice what that rune on this cross section is. Then if B has the same rune on it anywhere on the strip, rotate B until the two identical runes overlap. If every spot where A and B overlaps lights up green, then that means you can do the final step of the puzzle. However, most likely they don't all turn green the first time. Continue this process and rotate B for every remaining identical rune on the strip. If there are none, then repeat A once and repeat the process on B. Overlap any like rune found on B. If that doesn't light up all the overlapping runes, or if there isn't any like rune, then rotate A and continue. Again, repeat this process until all the overlapping runes between stripes A and B light up green. Then lastly, step 5. When you've done this and all A and B cross sections are glowing green, rotate strip C, that jerk who comes in to steal the glory, until all of the overlapping runes glow green. Congratulations, you've completed your first Celtic knot. After a few times, you will be a master. Just some food for thought. I have a theory that there might be predetermined orders of runes on a given strip rather a, a set pattern of runes, i.e. the runes in the patterns change, but the pattern stays the same. I haven't confirmed this, but sometimes it definitely feels that way. Hopefully you better understand how Celtic clues work, and that you are now capable of completing Celtic knots on your own. For more information on Elite Clue Scrolls, please watch my complete guide on them, found here. And as always, thank you all for watching. Take care, and God bless.